Good afternoon. Yesterday, I visited the Space and Rocket Center in Huntsville, Alabama, where the U.S. government decided to hide rocket scientists who surrendered to the U.S. military personnel in Germany at the end of World War II to hide them from the Russians. Here, they developed various rockets, including eventually the Apollo program, ICBMs, reverse engineered the V-2 rockets, and more. At the Space and Rocket Center, they have some retired engineers present in the museum area where you can ask any question you want. So I found Ron Paulus, who is one of the chief engineers of the Apollo and Skylab programs and also had some involvement in the space shuttle program. We talked a little bit about life for the Germans as they came to Huntsville, how it impacted the local community, as well as some interesting perspectives you'll want to stay tuned for at the end about the current SLS program as well as the SpaceX Starship program. So be sure and watch to the end for this interesting perspective from someone who was in the middle of the Apollo program. Let's get into it. How long have you been here? Uh, I came here in June 60, right out of Purdue. Huh. Uh, excuse me, just one second, if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. uh, My, my memory is bad. I need to put it in my computer sometimes. Uh, no problem. <laughs> and the uh, the people from Germany, they got here like in, what, 45, 46? Or? Uh, 45, right out of, uh, they came, in, came here under Operation Overcap, the code word project, mm -hmm. in 45, a few as late as early 46, mm -hmm. because they've gotten involved in that. A few came later and gotten involved in that code word project for the Brits. Oh, a backfire, where they'd taken... 30 of the parts for the V2s up to Crux Hub mm -hmm. and were able to finally assemble. They took 86 yards, assemble and uh, launch three by the 15th of October. Mm -hmm. and then they rejoined the team and we brought, Top Toy had authority to bring 100. He exceeded his order, brought 118, that grew to 130. Mm -hmm. uh, so nearly all of them came in 45. Dieter Hussle, for example, and a few others, early 46. Mm -hmm. Uh, no paperwork, prisoners of peace with a six months contract, uh, and we guaranteed looking after the families, their yeah. dependents, uh, in, a, in a camp there. Um, and they were kept separated from the rest of the town for a while? Well, they could go outside, but a, a friend of mine who's an offspring of them mm -hmm. told me that her mom told them when they went outside, the, the, those who were not going, the locals would spit upon them. Mm -hmm. You know, resentment. That's the German thing. Well, they were getting fed. Yeah. They were fed and clothed. The, 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 the Germany was after the war. There was no food, no jobs. I mean, nothing. Hmm. And it was a struggle to survive. That was the way of it. But, uh, uh, but anyway, Toftoy brought them to this country. Initially, they were at, well, they one their group in, in a Boston Harbor, one near a fort near Washington, hmm. uh, D.C. And then they shipped it out to Fort Bliss and White Sands. Mm -hmm. And we got parts for 100 of the V2s uh, out of the middle part, right near Nordhausen. That was to be in the Russian zone of influence, so we had to get them out before the Russians, turn over the Russians. It started out to be the A4 and the A5. It was the guided um, missile they used, Germany used to attack London. And then when we overran those launch sites, they still attacked Antwerp and Holland. Um, but it took them 12 years to develop. And it was in September 8th of 44 before they were ever, finally able to hit one. The war was already lost. Um, so it was never a significant factor in the war. No. Um, and they put that same amount of effort in a jet aircraft, they might have made a difference. Yeah. But, uh, but, uh, uh, that was one of their, was it a buzz bomb, a drone bike? A V1 was, was a buzz bomb. That yeah, was, a, we saw one that was an Air Force development. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the Air Force and the Army reached agreement in, in the mid 30s, and they established a joint base on Ustam Island on the Baltic Sea. Mm -hmm. The western part was for the A1, what became the A1. Uh, what was the A1? That was the buzz bomb. Mm -hmm. That was the Air Force. Okay. The eastern part was the Army's development of the A1 through 10. Yeah. And, and the four and five, the, the four was what became the V2. Uh, I remember they. Uh, Eventually lost, I guess, one of the V2s, and, 
Mexico or someplace. Oh, well, well, like I said, when, when we brought them here, we got parts for 100 B2s. So to learn. Uh, and, and when they came here, they were the center of knowledge. You've got to miss them. Mm -hmm. and, and, they, and right away, they became to, began to train the U.S. military and engineers how to assemble and technicians. Uh, JPL arrived with solid rocket knowledge, and they assembled mobile stage atmospheric sounding rockets, mm -hmm. some of which inadvertently landed in Mexico. What was the, what was the fuel? Uh, for this, or the, for the B-2, it, it's oxygen, it's alcohol mm -hmm. and liquid oxygen. Like ethanol or? Uh, ethanol. Ethanol. And, okay. and so later, when they're having trouble with getting enough of that, they did sometimes actually ship to methanol, mm -hmm. which what with that was some of the workers had learned to fill for a little bit of the ethanol drinking it. Yeah. When they switched to methanol, it killed a bunch of them. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> but uh, I don't know whether I've answered your question, right? Yeah, yeah. But they were out west, uh, and in 1950, uh, many hundreds of them out here, including the Von Braun team, what became known as the Von Braun team, plus hundreds of Americans that they've been trained. How many people do you think the German descent is still in this area? Uh, well, all of the original guys are dead. Right. Yeah, they're all gone. Sure. Uh, a lot of the officers. I still see Heidi Collier is still a friend. Mm -hmm. uh, 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 Dr. Huter's son, I think he died recently. Uh, I, knew, I knew his wife, Peggy. Uh, but, you know, what was your job here? I was a project engineer at Saturn V. Initially, I came here on advanced plans for the Army, yeah. and then uh, the Pershing Project. Uh, so it has to kill you to see these three that never used. What's that? It has to kill you to see these three that never got okay. Well, one of those is the Houston. Right. One's at the Cape. Right. One we use the first two stages. The third flight stage, uh, flight vehicle, we used the first two stages live, and the S4B stage converted the hydrogen tank to a laboratory, and that was Skylab. Yeah. Okay. And this over your head is the dynamic test vehicle. It was not intended for flight, but it's still accurate. Yeah. Had to be. Yeah. What do you think of the, uh, the Starship thing with the space on us? It's great. Yeah. Stainless uh, steel, who would have thought? Uh, the, uh, I think, the, our government is not really funding, aggressively funding a, a program. Right. Uh, Artemis, is not really a funded program. SLS launched uh, November before last. Mm -hmm. We're going to launch last November. Early this year, they said, well, we're going to delay for safety reasons till maybe 25. Yeah. Uh, the next start is supposed to launch in about two weeks. Yeah. Well, I just, I, I, but they say they're going to try to land. I just don't believe SLS will ever fly again. Uh, yeah. I, uh, it's too much. Uh, you know, think about having. A launch crew that launched in November uh, over a year ago, and you think, how are you going to keep them interested? Mm -hmm. uh, good people are going to go find something that they want to do. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just the whole business model is different. Yeah. The old contract. Well, it isn't just a business model. Yes. It, it's the government. And this iron, out in every the government. District. Does the government really want to do something? Yeah, yeah. And they're not funding it. Right. They're using the yeah, money on the part things. in every congressional district to get the votes. To well, we did that then. On, yeah. We did that during the fall. Yeah. But we had the national will to go do something. Yeah, yeah. And we do not have that now. Right. Yes, obviously. Great to meet you. Oh, nice to meet you.